August 9th, 2019, 74 years. For Nagasaki, Hiroshima, two cities that shouldn't even exist anymore, but they rebuilt them on bomb craters. And then they decided, on, that was on purpose, so they could study them as human guinea pigs and their children and their children. Defies any kind of reality, any kind of logic. It just doesn't seem possible. I'm Dana Durnford, the nuclear proctologist. I'm also a marine researcher, nuclear expert, and a forensic investigative journalist. What an amazing story I got for all hands today. Let me turn that down. Music lights up 15% of your brain to 19% of your brain that you normally never use. It takes music to actually light up, apparently, those regions of your brains. That's why you see music is such a big facet of the propaganda machine. And then people like myself that are trying to introduce you to the real narratives. Um, also utilize it. Adam Bomb dooms to Japs. Welcome, everybody. You can call in 604-223-0763 if you got some comments on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. That would be awesome. I'll keep popping that number up for everybody. So what I, how do you tell this story different than the story that's out there? Well, Dana, you just tell the truth because the truth is not out there. That, that's, that's a revolutionary idea in a time of deception. Now, the atom bomb doom Japs. Now, the word Japs is derogatory. It's meant to incite hatred against the Japanese, all of them, the women, the children, the victims of the military-industrial complex. The military is just a tiny fraction of a country, right? Albert Einstein, uh, just let me touch on that subject for a second before I get started. And we got crazy good show for anybody who's seeking the truth. Albert Einstein, he was a patent officer. So people back in those days, remember, there's no telephones, there's no internet, there's uh, the media is non-existent outside of rudimentary media. Difficult times to grow up and live in. Now, Einstein had a university education back then, which is equivalent now to about like a grade three education. Back then, it was a great education. And he worked in a patent office. And so people would come in with patents, and he was his job was to verify the patent, an invention, you know? And so the people would explain their invention or their, uh, their discovery to Einstein. And Einstein would deny it or accept it. They would pay him money. Now, he was in the office mostly by himself doing this. So the people were trusting him exclusively. Then these people would go off. and These people wouldn't explain their inventions or patents to other people because that would give up the ghost, right? And so he was the sole receiver of this information. Now, after he retired, a lot of, by the time he retired, a lot of those people who had inventions would have died that never came to fruition. He would have had access to those patents. And so anybody that works in that position becomes, per se, a genius, right? Because you're, you're given all this 
brand new documentation. And so the inventions that he's credited with and the breakthroughs that he's credited with are most likely uh, people that died and left their patents and inventions behind. He had access to it. And he knew they, that other people wouldn't be able to comprehend it or weren't aware of it. And then he was able to claim it for himself. So he was put on a pedestal anyway as the genius. But this is such a strange story. They built cities. And they didn't build cities uh, up in La uh, Las Vegas on top of bomb craters. They didn't build cities in Russia, nuclear testing bomb craters. China didn't build cities on bomb craters. France didn't build cities on bomb craters. This was the academic world built the cities to further victimize the victims. That's what academic does for a living. They victimize the victims. People survived after the atomic bombing of Hiroshima. And what you're going to see over here are academic studies that defy any kind of logic, by the way. They spent 74 years so far, and most likely several million studies on that city and the people in the city. In other words, human guinea pigs are lab rats is a more appropriate term for people in Nagasaki and Hiroshima that are, I'm sure, are great people, but are obviously very naive. They moved into a city built on a bomb crater. And so we're going to flash through 200 or so, and I've brought pictures. I'll get myself out of the way today. If people want to do screen captures later on, we'll go back and give you a shot of that one so you can get a screen capture of that one. So for the first couple, we just got some narratives we're going to talk about. Most scrupulous and important research, the radiation impact on human beings is the research of the consequences of nuclear explosions in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. In other words, the most important research was Nagasaki because they built cities on bomb craters. Do you get it? The damaging effects of a nuclear explosion are described. The data the conditions in nuclear bombardment are presented. The number of victims of radiation during the bombing and in the initial period is not known well. Is unknown, in other words. In 1950... <coughs> My apologies. 1950, the Chase cohort for the research and the nuclear bombing outcome was begun. So the choice of cohort for research and nuclear bombing outcome was begun. In other words, they were establishing people that they wanted to study for the rest of their life. I got to sneeze again. <coughs> Keep going. Yummy, yummy. An amazing show. Global transport of plutonium. Now, I want you to think about some context before we get into Nagasaki, Hiroshima, full time here. Global trans, this is a study. Global transport of plutonium from Nagasaki to the Arctic. Review of the Nagasaki plutonium investigation and future. Now, the people were atomized and so and ionized and radiated, and uh, they, they went up in the smoke, and we breathed them in in North America, right? We breathed in the atoms of people that were um, were incinerated, and vehicles and buildings and everything else were ionized and radiated and sent up in that plume you're looking at. Just got to lay the foundation before we get started. Oh. A historical event, the release of the man-made <clears throat> global pollutants 
global think about that word global global pollutants it was observed in nagasaki japan on august the 9th 74 years ago today 1945 with the detonation of a plutonium atomic bomb 239 and 240 plutonium was discharged into the atmosphere along with the fission product ccm blah 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 and the fate of the plutonium and cesium was investigated by analyzing both local and global fallout. Global fallout. What an interesting statement that is. Global fallout. Global fallout from Nagasaki. Huh. Go figure. The total amount of disposition in the local fallout region of 264 square kilometers. 264 square kilometers. 264 square. Now, a lot of the studies you're going to see coming up where they talk about one square kilometer, right? But the fallout was global, but there was also considered a highly radioactive area that was 264 kilometers. So the city that they built, like Hiroshima and Nagasaki, that they built in the bomb craters, are surrounded by 264 square kilometer of a radiate, radioactive zone. This is why I started off the show, but why would they build a city in one of the... Now, a, a nuclear bomb detonation is different from a nuclear meltdown. Nuclear meltdowns are worse than all bombs in history. A nuclear bomb is uh, one millionth of a second or something like that. And, but the fallout radiates everything in the vicinity for 264 square kilometers, but also we can find it worldwide. We're measured by collecting 10 ice cores. So the, the bomb from Nagasaki was measured by collecting 10 ice cores in Ellesmere Island, Canada. Canada. Originating from Nagasaki. Now, the reason I'm, sh I'm slipping in and out of this shot here is because it's very high quality videos we produce here. Well, I produce. And just in case people wanted to get screen captures without my purdy face in there. See? You get what I'm talking about? Second atom bomb hit Nagasaki. The Reds are at war with the Japs. Now, I said he used the word Japs. It's a derogatory. Meant to desensitize and dehumanize the victims. Analysts of internal plutonium radiation exposure in the Nagasaki atomic bomb victims. Well, yeah, of course there is, Dana. Well, not so quick. This is why I make this so bizarre. bizarre. Radiation doses received by Nagasaki and Hiroshima atomic bomb survivors has been evaluated from data related only to external exposure to external exposure because there was no reliable existence for internal exposures in the atomic bomb victims. So 264 square kilometers highly radioactive, but you weren't breathing it in, is what they're saying. However, they assume that the contribution of internal exposure cannot be ruled out. Uh, that study... And the date on that was 2018. They finally done a study on internal radiation. Up for the first 50 years, they wouldn't admit that people were breathing in the, the, uh, I, or the aerosol the victims. And like, if there's a forest fire, are you going to get external exposure from the forest fire or internal also? 
Now, if you get external, you can actually breathe that in through your skin, right? Your skin uh, will absorb. It's toxic that way too, by the way. You can suffocate that way through your skin. So you, you can put on a respirator, but your body loses all the oxygen because you're, you're in an environment with so much pollution. Internal exposure. So they, they were only postulating because there's no studies that says the people here would have got an internal dose. No, I can't see how anybody would have got an internal dose, dear Dana. Okay. The atomic plague. Think about that statement. How he dropped it on the Japs. Does tourism illuminate the darkness of Hiroshima and Nagasaki? The darkness. Well, Hiroshima and Nagasaki shouldn't exist, right? They built, rebuilt the cities to use them as guinea pigs. They didn't do it on the other bomb craters, the 2,000 bomb craters everywhere else. They done it on those two cities. So the darkness is the industry, is nuclear academics, is nuclear scientists. They are darkness. Atomic bomb hits the Japs, right? Meant to dehumanize the victims. Radiation injuries with notes on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. And so the rest of this, majority of everything coming up, is going to be these one hit, one line studies. And what I'm trying to establish for everybody today. And, and this important anniversary. is the fact that the academic world has used the victims long after the war is over, long after reparation, long after, and they built a relationship. They have a, Japan has a relationship with America. America has a relationship with Japan. Japan is a worldwide player, right? Japan is considered no different at this stage long after, but as, as anybody else on the planet, and is considered a friend of the United States. But yet, not just the United States, but endless countries that are pro-nuclear, universities, academics, and students go all the time to Nagasaki. There's millions of studies. Like, I've, I've went to several thousand studies in the last four days on Nagasaki and just cherry pick studies that help articulate how ludicrous, because there's so many studies, you can just cherry pick. You can't cover them all in one of these presentations, right? Radiation injuries with notes on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. And so the studies are basically, to your left, proof that Nagasaki, Hiroshima are nothing more than lab rats, are simply guinea pigs. That's why they rebuilt the city there. City of 318 plus some headlines from back when that happened to help articulate how stupid it is to build a city in the first place. City of 318,000 dead, Japan, Japanese radio cries. Now you can see a study here. This is meant to downplay. This is a 2011 study, but I'm going to show you studies from 1950s of people where their cardiac are destroyed from so much radiation and from the light of it. But what this study tries to do is blame the cardiac, the current cardiac problem on the fact that the city gets a lot of sunshine. And so most of the studies are meant to downplay and every facet is what I've, I've, uh, I can do entire show after show for many months of studies just meant to downplay the effect of radiation. This is why they built the city there so they can produce the studies and claim uh, that it was, there, there is no radiation issues. Yet they've done millions of studies, millions, and the survivors and their children. Millions of studies on these victims. 
real life lab, rat, lab rats that is still full tilt ahead. So in other words, several trillion dollars of studies the academics have made, trillions of dollars. Adam Bob compelled a war minister committed suicide. Shinzo Abe, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Long-term follow-up of atomic bomb survivors. Think about the statement, long-term follow-up of atomic bomb survivors. Now, despite what you and me might like to say, the academics say there was nobody there that had internal doses. You never got an internal dose if you were here, okay? That's the scientists. You never got internal doses there. Why would you build a city on a bomb, nuclear bomb site for? How do you get that stupid? The lifespan studies, the follow-up study of atomic bomb, follow-up studies, survivors, to investigate the radiation effects on human health and has collected data for over 60 years. Now, is that not using these people as lab rats or is that using them as lab rats? That's using them as lab rats, right? Hiroshima possibly wiped out the Jap submit bomb damage is great. The Jap submit, Japs, right, meant to, to vilify them and demonize them, marginalize them, and dehumanize them, and to incite hatred against them. The physical growth and development of children who survived the atomic bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The physical growth development of children. And you can see all the PhDs and BSs and all the academics there that sign world's greatest destroyer, atomic bomb, hurled at the Japs. Hurled at the Japs. Stanford University. Stanford University. And you notice who survived in the second sentence? is ran together. They couldn't even edit it properly. Now, of course, nobody got any internal doses, Dana. As we studied them every second of every day now for 74 years, Dana, there was no internal doses. We are academics. Who are you going to believe, Dana or people in white suits? Atomic bomb is used against the Japs. Total ruin soon. The jobs. Result of mass screening for breast cancer. An atomic bomb survivors, residents. <clears throat> now, any recent studies I'd noticed, particularly in the last decade, or two decades even, about breast and there's just you, there's so many breast cancer studies I just had I left out probably at least seventy or eighty of them. Because it's just endless studies screaming, there is no breast cancer. There is no breast cancer. We built a city and moved people there and studied them for 74 years. Dana, if it was bad, we would have seen it. The only thing as bad as you people. You're not bad. You're, you're literally insane lunatics. Bomb erases 60% of Hiroshima. Erases. Like the studies he raised. I think that picture is fake to the right, but hey, radon. So this study was produced on radon, right, to downplay any effects there and blame it on radon, not the nuclear bomb. Russia joins the war on the Japs. And the Japs, the stars and stripe. So the military newspaper. That's literally got to be the stupidest idea in history, military newspaper. Is it just me or is it stupid? It's stupid. Radon measurements in residential housing in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. So they can use, that's England, UK. And UK, of course, we know are just revolting revolting parasites for the nuke tart industry, the academics I'm talking about. People are good people. 
Yeah, they wouldn't have got no internal radiation dose, Dana. Okay. There's a lot of harsh pictures today, by the way. Atom bomb hit a city, and a city vanished. The Jap seaport went up in smoke. It's a 40,000 feet dust over her. It's not dust, it's radioactive fallout. 40,000 feet, of course, is eight miles up. So it was easy to find it in Canada, right? We were breathing in here in Canada, those that were alive 74 years ago. My parents would have been breathing in ionized or aerosoled humans that were ionized and radiated. So animals would have been doing the same thing, right, in North America. Welcome, everybody. Hi, everyone. No craters, air burst. Well, it, it is a crater. And I'll find you a picture. That's an air burst, all right. That's still a crater. It's, a bomb, it's the equivalent of a bomb crater. Just because they blew it up over the ground, the ground is, is considered the same thing as a crater. It's just a metaphor. Results of mass screening for breast cancer and atomic bomb survivors. Get back down here. Where was I? Here. So, uh, eyeball lesions following the atomic bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Uh, but don't worry, folks. They didn't breathe in any radiation. The academics... Atomic bomb sensation. Japan facing terrible decision today. Most terrifying weapon in history. Yeah, it polluted the whole planet. It's a war against the whole planet when you set it off. So all of these studies, look at these weird, bizarre studies. And I'm putting the pictures in there myself. You can see to your left, Studies that are produced, that's 1965, incredible facets of radiation, but yet nobody was breathing it in. Japan hit by an atomic bomb, the mightiest weapon in history. Tokyo emits heavy, heavy damage. Evaluation of adverse events in the atomic bomb. Survivors receiving radiation therapy. So people actually who got illnesses, cancers from radiation, are being given more radiation to kill them off in 2005, 2010. You can't cure somebody, by the way, with radiation. There's 3% of the people will live longer with radiation treatment than they would without it. So 97% would live longer if they didn't get it in the hospitals. So in other words, 97% are dying because they get radiation treatment in the hospital. Do, do, are, do you get it? If you get it, why is... Like, then the question is why are... And, and 3%, by the way, is the typical number for misdiagnosis. So those 3% most likely didn't even have cancer. That's why they survived the radiation. You can't call it a treatment because it doesn't cure anybody. If you call three percent of a, a per, if you call three per hundred that live longer with it than they did without it, right? A cure, then there's nobody can help you. Um, let me put out another. I don't know if I mentioned this the other day or not. But uh, does everybody know what the words old man spots are? 
after these blood welts on your skin. They're actually, if you look it up, it's blood hemorrhaging. And so as you get older, you get all these blood hemorrhaging apparently under your skin. These are welts. And um, my oldest brother, I've been doing an experiment on, on him for four weeks with the DCA. D, like Dana, C, like crazy, and A, like Apple. DCA, if you go to Amazon.com, type in those three capital letters, DCA, in Amazon, you'll get distributors. Some of them are in the UK. And so I ordered in a bottle of DCA, and I started convinced my brother to drink. Now, his whole body's covered in these... Um, hemorrhaging under his skin. So these big welts that are blood under his skin, rising off his body. His whole body's covered and it's horrible. He's, he's the, my oldest. He's in his 70s. And he's on his deathbed, right? And that's four weeks ago. He's literally almost cured today, four weeks later. All of them are gone. And it's just a little scars left, but they're disappearing. The first thing, like his whole chest was red because his whole chest was covered in it four weeks ago. The first thing we noticed visibly was that that redness itself started disappearing within a week, which he struck down to a major win, right? Now, four weeks later, he's out getting suntans. Four weeks later, he's talking about doing exercise again. Four weeks later, He's talking about taking music lessons. Four weeks later, he can go around with his shirt off and there's no welts on his body. That's a cure. This has never been cured in history. And I cured him by using the DCA, which is just a mineral. It reduced all heart tumors and cancer tumors by 70% in the first three weeks. And what you do is you take a spoonful of it, a sixteenth of a spoonful of it, rather, just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit on your spoon, itty bitty, tiny bit, in a quarter glass of water, mix it up, and do that three times a day. That's amazing, folks. It just, I got two more people that are in the same position. One of them's even worse, and we're going to start treating them when I can. Um, I can afford to buy some more, which won't be very long because it has to be done. And then when I got all three of them uh, on it and got a few months down the road, I'll share the results with everybody. And so you should buy it and start treating yourself preemptively because it reduced all cancers by 70% in the first three weeks. And it continued to do that. Now do that for three months, three times a day, just a sixteenth of a spoonful in, in a quarter glass of water. One in the morning, one in the afternoon, one at night. Let's keep going. The Japs say all life is gone in Hiroshima. The Japs say all life is gone in Hiroshima. City effects and atomic bomb survivors data. Now bomb crater. I notice how people want to nitpick at me and say that it's not a bomb crater, Dana. It was an air burst. Like to, to come in and actually say something like that, it's a bomb crater. It's where they exploded a weapon. That's the, the connotations. I apologize for not being a monstrous academic and being... Uh, very descriptive about that particular facet. City effects and the atomic bomb survivors' city effects. Well, the city was built after on a, on a bomb crater where, where it was an air burst where they killed everybody on the ground. So we're going to call it a crater for because that's really what it is. It did drive everything down into the ground. It didn't just scorch everything and not hurt the ground. 
There's a bomb crater. The Japan accepts the terms. Peace. Risk of death among children of atomic bomb survivors after 62 years of follow-up. 62 years. 62 years of follow-up. Risk of death. Now, they say, of course, these people never breathed in any radiation, Dana. There's no internal radiation. So most of the studies, or almost all the studies that I come across, are all based on external doses. This is how insane, absolutely nutty, bizarre, insidious academics actually are. They're, they're actual real-life monsters. Atomic bomb hits the Japs, port of Nagasaki. <clears throat> now, that's an interesting point there, port, because what that means is water. All that water there become radioactive and all the marine life and all the marine species become radioactive. Disgusting. What are disgusting? So nuclear scientists are Nazis. That's the best way to describe them. On either way worse. Risk of death among children of atomic bomb survivors. The bomb that has changed the world. The Japs told now, quit. The Japs. That's how they use it constantly to vilify and demonize and marginalize and desensitize and de-victimize. Systematic collection of tissue. Systematic. What is, do you know what that word means? Systematic. Collection of tissue specimens and lab rats. I mean, people in Nagasaki and Hiroshima. I mean, guinea pigs in Nagasaki, Hiroshima. Diagnose solid cancers among atomic bomb survivors. Atomic bomb hits the Japs. Statistical observation of eyeball changes in survivors of Hiroshima A-bombs. Delayed effect, right? The physical growth development of children who survived <coughs> the atomic bombing of Nagasaki, Hiroshima. Who survived? I can cover this one earlier, Stanford University. Long-term follow-up of atomic bomb survivors. Long-term. They built the city, and, and uh, so they can keep them there and study them for the rest of their lives and their children's and their children. If you tell me that's not, if you don't understand how evil that is, you're not paying attention. Go back and start the video off again. <clears throat> Risk of death among children. That cracks me up that they've done that study. Follow milk debris. In the beach sand of Hiroshima Bay. Now, these people never had any internal exposure, Dana. It was only external, Dana. And everybody else worldwide. Thoughts on relief for atomic bomb survivors since Obama visit to Hiroshima. Now, as you can see in the background, you see all the radioactive uh, particles in the air. If you were there, you didn't breathe it in. I can show you 2,000 studies saying you did not get internal doses. Well, I can show you more than that if I want to keep searching through all this stuff. It's, it looks like there's several million studies. From what Now, on my study is only from two journals. There's 20,000 pertinent ones, there's a lot more than that, but there's 20,000 that are owned by Elsifer, Springer, and Wiley, the three biggest publishers on the planet, and you won't get access to very many of those journals, so we won't be able to find all the studies, but I can uh, unequivocally show you several hundred thousand in just a couple of journals, several journals that I got in my bookmarks. There's no problem for me to, to put together several hundred thousand studies on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. You got any idea? They could have built 
several thousand Nagasaki, Nagasaki cities somewhere else with that money. But then you couldn't study the people that you moved into bomb craters. I'm sorry, where the air blast was to. You know, that looks like a bomb crater. Bone tumors and atomic bomb survivors of Hiroshima. Bone tumors. Feasibility of using 236. These are all different studies is what I'm showing you. Just a tiny, tiny, tiny fraction of what I went through in the last four or five days. To reconstruct close-in fallout disposition for the Hiroshima atomic bomb. See, if they admit that there's fallout there, then the soldiers that went there after and, and the academics all of a sudden would be like, well, I can't go there. We could be breeding it in. But they buy into it a lot. They say, oh, we got thousands of studies showing there's no internal doses. That's incredible betrayal, by the way. That's right, Shane, a shallow bomb crater. Nevertheless, like you say, it's a bomb crater. Type 2 diabetes, obesity, and breast cancer risks among the Japanese women of the atomic bomb survivors' cohorts. Why would you build a city where you detonated a nuclear weapon to? Well, because you're unbelievably evil. You're unbelievably maniacal. You're unbelievably detached from reality. You're inconceivably incapable of emotions. Neutron-induced activity and microscopic observation of copper samples exposed to the Hiroshima atomic bomb. So the neutrons will emit from everything there. So you can't... There's so many things going on. The Nagasaki Atomic Bomb Survivors Tumor Tissue Bank Geraldine Thomas in UK actually is in control of the bank. And she goes around telling everybody it's like a banana and a potato chip and walking in sunshine. And, she, and so she, she reviews the studies and said they don't end up making it out there public if they're actually showing. There's incredible amounts of studies that are locked behind the paywalls they couldn't get access to. Just get the ticker. Disposition records of plutonium, 137 cesium, uh, in the sediment of the reservoirs at Nagasaki. So this is why you didn't want to build. Right? This, this is why. Because the reservoirs, where they got all the fresh water to drink, and for your food and clothing and everything for washing, was contaminated with plutonium and everything else. Disposition records. I mean, do you, do you understand what that actually means? So the water becomes irradiated itself, plus it has radioactive particles in it. You should never build a city there. That city should be abandoned. Nagasaki, Hiroshima should be abandoned. Those reservoirs should be, shouldn't be, um, should be treated. We should have all the universities trying to solve that radiation instead of using these people as guinea pigs. It's complicated, but it's not, if you actually... And so can you imagine those explosions will deposit radioactive material in the reservoirs, in your water? Why would you build a city where the water is radiated? The researchers at Nagasaki University on atomic bomb survivors. The researchers. Well, the university should never be there because the city is not supposed to exist. Hiroshima bombing stress effect. Stress effects. Stress effects. You got any idea how detached the academic world is from any kind of moral compass, atomic bombs and long-run effects on trust, which is what we're experiencing right now. Experiences in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, atomic bombs, long-run effect on trust. Really interesting studies. 
My problem is I like reading too much, I guess. People survive after atomic bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Why would you build a city in a shallow bomb crater from a nuclear weapon, from an air burst? Hi, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Welcome, everybody. People survived after the atomic bombing of Hiroshima. Now they've been studied like guinea pigs and lab rats. Hope after Hiroshima. There is no hope. See how they got a single person for these studies a lot of the times? Right? They, they got the money and kept it to themselves so they can skew the results. Nobody can argue with them, right? Nobody can contradict them. Age six, Pacific Achilles tendon reflex times in the Japanese. A study of atomic bomb survivors. So, like, you got to... I want you to remember to think about all the different facets of studies, which is just a tiny, 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 itty bitty fraction of a 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 percent of a percent of a percent of a percent of a fraction of a percent of the studies is what you're going to see here today that it produced. It built the city. Right? As human studies. That's a crime, by the way. You're not allowed to, to uh, poison people on purpose and then use them as guinea pigs. Because that's what they're doing by letting people live there. They're poisoning them on purpose. And none of these studies have been shared publicly. Usually people come out and say, well, they all died. Right? And they'll show pictures of the Nola Gale and the other aircrafts that were used. And, and politicians and everything else. They don't want to actually show you the documentation like I'm doing here. What, I'm, what you see here on my site is unbelievably unique. Unbelievably, I'm not putting myself on a pedestal. I'm, I'm just saying factually that what I bring to the table, the narrative that I bring to the table is always a unique narrative that you'll never hear the facts that I provide anywhere else. They exist, but nobody <laughs> has bothered to come out and have that conversation before. <clears throat> Excuse me. Age Pacific Achilles. So Achilles tendon reflex time in Japanese. There's a study. Three people paid their mortgages and their children's um, braces and everything else and sports equipment and stuff like that. By doing a study on Achilles tendon, hey, you know, we like to, we want a couple of hundred thousand. So for every page, you're talking about a thousand dollars. So 120 pages, volume 25, of course. You got to forget about the other 25 volumes. We're just talking about issue two with 120 pages. A thousand bucks a page, basically, by the time it's said and done and peer reviewed and published. Minimum of a thousand dollars a page. Each one of these studies, or a hundred thousand or more that we're talking about. We're talking about we're talking about an industry of monsters, of idiots that have spent seventy four years to the point where um, I want to study Achilles tendons, tendons, tendon reflex times in the Japanese. Oh, I am age sex specific because I got tons of studies on Achilles, but non age sex. Well, actually, for every study I show you, stuff you, I show you that might look like it's the I already showed to you, if you look, you'll see different names and different years with the same kind of headlines, which confuses me sometimes. I forget about that particular facet of it. Rheumatoid arthritis and gout in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. So they produce all these studies, usually typically to downplay Say, no, we didn't find any. But why would you do a, a 679-page study then? Well, because it's $679,000. Dana, stupid. Hello, anybody home? Dana. 
Cancer in Japanese exposes children to the atomic bomb. So what, like you got all these studies, all these studies prove Hiroshima and Nagasaki should be abandoned. This is not, you don't have to be Einstein and steal everybody's patent to understand this. You just got to be human, that's all. Neutron spectrum of the Hiroshima A-bomb. Like all these studies should cure for your childhood cancer in relation to per prenatal exposure to the atomic bomb radiation. Huh. Ooh, you said radiation. You probably won't get to do another study for at least five days. Uh, 1,003 pages and volume 296 of that particular facet. And just that one journal out of 20,000 journals that are relevant and pertinent. No, they, like you can't afford anything in your country because your academics are stealing it all so they can be evil. These studies are proof that, each one of these studies are proof that these people are evil. Each, all those people in the blue, in the bottom of the left, right bundle branch blocked with overt heart disease predicts higher risk of pacemaker implantation. The study of uh, atomic bomb survivors shown that you shouldn't give them pacemaker implants because, you know, they got problems in their hearts because of the atomic bomb. Like, you can barely wrap your mind around how evil this is. It's unbelievably evil, each one of these studies. And these are just a tiny, tiny fraction. Longevity in radiated human populations, particular references to the atomic bomb survivors. Why would you build a city on a shallow bomb crater where there was an air burst? Longevity and radiated human populations. Uh, just one person, of course, Robert E. Anderson. Oh, there's Anderson again. Radiation leukemias and lymphomia. Speculations based primarily on experience of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. He had bills to pay that guy. Mutation research. Studies of atomic bomb exposed population. Exposed population. Population. Exposed population. How do we study the population? Well, let's build a city on the bomb crater. I'm sorry. Shallow bomb crater. I'm sorry. Where there was an air burst. That's where all the fallout goes, right? I, the words are used connotations of craters because that's where all the fallout, not all of it, but a large facet of it is going to show up, right? Restoration of urban forest. Think of that statement. Of Tokyo and Hiroshima following World War II. Restoration of a radiated environment. So many studies and so many facets. Residual radiation, Hiroshima, Nagasaki. Hiroshima survivors remember. Global transport of plutonium from Nagasaki to the Arctic. These are different studies over different years and different amounts of money in different institutions. 60 years of follow-up of Hiroshima and Nagasaki survivors. 60 years of follow-up. Current progress in epidemiological studies. The chromosome study mutants in Hiroshima atomic bomb survivors. Cancer studies. Ep epidemiological. I can't even pronounce that today. What the fuck over? I can't pronounce it. One of those days for me. A Hiroshima atomic bomb survivor. So all these studies, and like these are only ones that would make sense to the average person. The majority of the studies, it's almost impossible to get a grip on what they're talking about. Like they'll they'll study the atoms in your fingernails. And they'll use terminologies. 
that justify a thousand dollars a page. Gravestones exposed to the Hiroshima A bomb explosion. That he studied gravestones, gravestones with nuclear weapons. They done a study, systematic collection of tissue specimens. Newly diagnosed solid cancers among the atomic bomb survivors. Newly diagnosed, 2007. Dietary factors and cancer mortality among atomic bomb survivors. So what they're trying to imply there is they didn't have a good diet. That's why they, uh, they, were, they died and got cancer. It wasn't the atomic it was in the atomic bomb data. Learning disabilities in individuals exposed prenatally to ionizing radiation of Hiroshima and Nagasaki experiences. So why were they looking for this? Why were they burning the money on these studies? Why was there so many of them who studied the exact same thing? These are questions you've probably never been asked before. Relationship between spontaneous um, anyway, stem cells among the atomic bomb survivors. Study of land transformation processes after the atomic bomb damaging in Hiroshima. Incidences of dementia among atomic bomb survivors. Dementia. Radiation Effect Research Foundation Adult Health Study. Assessment of radio, radiation hazards areas considering the spectral analysis of the neutron components of a tactical nuclear bomb detonation. The physical growth and development of children who survived the atomic bombing. See, that, that's three times I showed it to you, right? That's different people a lot of the times. Sometimes it's not, but mostly it is. Late effects in the atomic, right? They'll name the study the exact same, but you see different people in different years. Late effects in the atomic bomb survivors. Trends in the prevalence of diabetes among the Hiroshima atomic bomb survivors. Dementia, autism, diabetes. Comparisons to accumulated doses from atomic bomb exposed roof tiles, roof tiles. So they've done studies. That's, that's a million dollar study, by the way. They've done studies and just literally every facet of this story, every facet. Like every, everything, if someone picked their nose, they would have done a study on it. Cancer incidences, in Hiroshima, Nagasaki, 1958 to 87. Critical requirements, uh, neutron at Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Longevity of the atomic bomb survivors. Primary tumors in atomic bomb survivors. Long-term health consequences of atomic bomb radiation. City effects in the atomic bomb survivors data. Dental exposure of the Hiroshima and Nagasaki populations. Atomic bomb survivors, Nagasaki, Japan. Radiation effects on cogniv cognitive, cognitive functions among, slow it down, Dan. Atomic bomb survivors exposed at or after adolescence. Difficult past to the imagined future. Projective reversal and transformation of ground zero. In other words, you built a city there so that you can study the lab rats. I'm sorry, people from Nagasaki and Hiroshima, you know, guinea pigs, till long after they're gone and their generations are gone. The city should, should be razzed to the ground, despite the protests from people that are living there. It shouldn't exist. Difficult past to imagine future. Mental health consequences of 2011. 
Fukushima nuclear disaster are the grandchildren of people living in Hiroshima and Nagasaki during the drop of the atomic bomb more vulnerable? Incidences of leukemia and survivors of the atomic bomb in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Malignant lymphoma in an atomic bomb survivor. Small head size after in your, your turtle exposures to the atomic radiation. So children being born with small heads. Blood cells in relationship to radiation dose of an A-bomb survivor. 1971 study. Effects of neutrons in Hiroshima. Implications for the risk estimates. See, there could be no doubt that the cities should never have been built, right? Even if you made it this far in, in the presentation, there's no, there's no way to justify building a city unless you're going to use it to be human guinea pigs and lab rats, which is a crime, right? Because now these people are being exposed to more radiation on purpose so academics can get swimming pools and go to the opera. The short-term effect of nuclear war, the medical legacies of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Nuclear weapons, of course, Nagasaki. Increased cancer cells, mutant frequency in atomic bomb survivors. Increased cancer cell mutant frequency in atomic bomb survivors. Well, like anybody that survives that, or, and if you don't get sick, you don't, like, because the studies all the way up until recently does not include internal exposure. Even though you're a deer, there's no way you cannot breathe in radiation. There's no way that's not going to sequester in your muscles, your organs, and your bones. I can't show you any studies of internal radiation because you wouldn't do them. You got any idea how ludicrous that is? Well, if they done the inter if they said there was internal, they wouldn't be able to hire anybody to go in and build rebuild the city so they can study them for decades. You get where I'm coming from? So they had to pretend, no, no, it's all gone to the Canadian Arctic up in Ellesmere Island. They never stayed there. <laughs> Dean and being naughty. Spontaneous immobilization of culture skin obtained from high dose atomic bomb survivors. High dose atomic bomb survivors. High dose. Gee, I wonder how you can get a high dose being where there's a air burst that burned everything on the ground and underground. I wonder how that happens. I'd like to show you a study, but the you got no studies because, you know, it never happened, right? That's Nuclear mass casualty events, they referred, of course, to Nagasaki, Hiroshima. Cancer mortality among the eight bomb survivors. If you're walking, there, if you're a deer, you have to breathe it in. You only got to breathe it in a single time to end up with cancer. But cancer... Once again, you see all these connotations of cancer. That's another important facet I forgot to touch upon. We did touch upon growth and diabetes and small heads, but there's 1,800 diseases will show up before cancer. But you won't hear them talking about that very often. We do got some examples of that. Let's burn through the rest of it. But what, what it does demonstrate, again, again today, I show definitively that nuclear academics and scientists are vampires and vultures and parasites. Does radiation, does radiation cause liver cancer? Comparisons of radiation effects in the atomic bomb survivors and other populations. So if that's not being used for guinea pigs and lab rats, then you're not paying attention. Atomic, like blood, leukemia of the blood for bomb, atomic bomb survivors. Well, even the people that went there after would have got incredible doses even today. Of course, it's all downplayed. It doesn't exist. There's no such thing as an internal dose, Dana. 
Plutonium mass balance release from Nagasaki A bombs and the applicability for environmental research. Think about that statement. Research for neutron reaction may be useful for Hiroshima dose reconstruction. You see endless studies with those same connotations. They seem similar. They are because journals don't share studies. It's not like you can go and get all the studies right in one place. You get what I'm saying? So that's why you see multiple studies. They like doing that. They'll spend millions of dollars on multiple studies. And people don't know the other one exists on purpose to see if the results are going to come out. Like nuclear has been studied more than everything else on this planet combined. It's a cult. It's a secret society. And it thrives on agony and misery and um, extinction events. Tooth enamel was a good way of finding neutrons, by the way. Risk of cancer among children exposed as uh, neonates to a bomb radiation. Breast cancer risk among the survivors of the atomic bomb and patients exposed the therapeutic ionizing radiation. By the way, there's no such thing as therapeutic ionizing radiation. You can't cure somebody with ionizing radiation. It doesn't work that way. Rays as weapons, so gamma rays, X rays, neutron rays. It's not just plutonium, americium, neptunium, strontium, cesium, uh, uranium, uh, all the isotopes, thousands of isotopes. It's a primary event in radiation induced leukemia, the induction, blah, 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 blah. blah. Stomach cancer and atomic bomb survivors. Stomach cancers and atomic bomb survivors. Atomic field. Somebody put a sign there, called it an atomic field. 264 square mile field. The study of atomic bomb survivors in Japan. How many of those uh, pilots committed suicide? How many suicide bombers does it take to equal one of these planes' uh, atomic bombs again? How many suicide bombers does it take to equal an aircraft carrier? There's an equation you should do a study on. Atomic bomb survivors. Uh, atomic bomb survivors. Cancer risk updates. First atomic bomb dropped on Japan. Surgeons at ground zero of the atomic age. Now that was a, uh, somebody done a painting there. That's not an actual burn into the wall. That's a euthanism. That's a metaphor for the victims. The surgeons at ground zero of the atomic age. Leukemia and thyroid cancer is found among A-bomb survivors in Hiroshima. Well, of course, they're in Hiroshima. They rebuilt the cities to get them there and keep them there and use them as lab rats. What to do if it happens? Propaganda in the age of the H-bomb. Radiation injuries with notes on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Radiation injuries. Radiation injuries. T-cell frequencies in atomic bomb survivors carrying outlying values of chromosome aberration frequencies. Hiroshima, how much have we learned? Oh, you know, just a couple of million studies on the lab rats, you know, survivors. The effects of aging and radiation exposure and blood pressure levels of atomic bomb survivors. The effects of aging, radiation exposure, and blood pressure levels of the survivors. No, they're not studying them like lab rats, Dana. This is normal. Effectiveness, effectiveness of tree rings for recording plutonium history at Nagasaki. Breast cancer and atomic bombing. Studies of the acute effect of the atomic bomb. Acute effect. Oh, yeah. Like... This has been a crazy. I've done two shows like this 
the week on Chernobyl, where we showed all those cherry pick studies at the thousands on Chernobyl. Today it's Hiroshima, plus the media the, the week that I covered. My, my brain feels like it's in a blender today. I'm just totally disoriented. It's just uh, I've been exposed to so much sadness this week, a little overwhelming for me. My heart is broken this week. There were studies on Chernobyl, and again, over the last, at the same time, I was gathering up all these studies and sorting through them and all the pictures, and then I had to marry them together for the day's presentation. It has an impact on me, a severe impact on me. I'm actually uh, post-traumatic stress disorder today. I noticed this morning in... Um, I'm not going to say the words depressed or something like that, but despondent that as a human that people can sit in silence and allow this to happen, and that they built cities on these shallow bomb craters, highly radioactive bomb craters, and done millions of studies on the victims because they're so disconnected from reality. They see nothing wrong with what they're doing either. The academic, the bizarre chicken, spineless, bootlicking, cheerleading academic world for the nuke turret industry. This is how they make their living off this misery machine and making sure people like me can't exist. Just heartbroken today myself. It's a very difficult thing for me to do. This has been a difficult week. Oh, it's even worse, there's two of me. I'm seeing doubles. Report of a workshop on the application. A mo molecule, mo I can't even pronounce any words today. I'm so messed up. Genetics to the study of mutations in children. Mutations in the children of the atomic bomb survivors. If you go listen to the to the Apologists, they'll tell you there's no harm, no foul, that Hiroshima and Nagasaki is just fine, Dana. Risk factors with primary breast cancers in Japan, eight year follow up of the atomic bomb survivors. High incidences of cancer and survivors of Hiroshima. Somebody compared 911 to Hiroshima in the picture to the right. But it's totally different. Regulatory implications of linear non-threshold dose-based risk. So linear non-threshold unequivocally is the right threshold where there's, and you can, if you put a linear non-threshold NLNT into my site, you'll find um, a double two-day presentation of the linear non-threshold where I flushed that out really good with studies and incredible amount of documentation and media reports. It's, it's a work of art with a lot of graphics put into that. Original signs and symptoms in patients surviving five years after the atomic bomb explosion under 1,000 meters. So many studies. Skin cancer among the atomic bomb survivors. <coughs> Excuse me. Skin cancer among atomic... They studied... Every facet of every facet of every facet now for 74 years. 83 accelerations of aging associated increase inflammatory markers, attenuations of the immune system among the atomic bomb survivors. Hiroshima is wiped out. The deaths too numerous to count. Japs concede 100,000 at least in the casualties. The stat status of eyeballs issues caused by atomic radiation. 1955. But I can show you studies from uh, 2000 on where they say it didn't happen. But I can show you studies back when it did happen showing that it did happen. But now they blame it on too much sunshine. 
Early onset of breast cancer in the A bomb survivors, 1993. Kidney hemorrhaging as seen in an atomic bomb uh, casualties. Observation of burn scars sustained by atomic bomb survivors. Observations of burn scars by survivors. Why would you build a city? in a bomb crater for it. Genetic effects of atomic bombing. Statistical of observations of atomic bomb cardiacs. 1956, there's a lot of studies with that same name, by the way, but different years, right? The bomb, the bomb was fused and set to explode at 2,000 feet above the center of the town. It took 43 seconds to reach its designated altitude. It had a blast equivalent to 13 kilotons, 20,000 pounds of TNT. The radius of total destruction was about one mile, with resulting fires across 4.4 square miles, 11 kilometers. <clears throat> and the fallout was recorded heavily for 264 square kilometers. So why would you build a city in the middle of it called Hiroshima and Nagasaki? Why? Atomic bomb radiation cardiacs case reported. This was uh, 1951. 46 percent of leukemia deaths and 11 percent of solid cancer deaths among bomb survivors were due to radiation, radiation from the bomb. Radiation cancers and a bomb survivors. Just being with those two people there means they're going to get increased. See, cancer, by the way, again, let me remind you, because you keep hearing the word cancer so much that people become fixated on the word cancer. But there's 1,800 illnesses and diseases and autoimmune deficiencies and injuries that will show up long before cancer, right? And we've shown you some of them today, like diabetes and Alzheimer's and dementia. or Double digits. Cancer is among children of the atomic bomb survivors. Atomic bomb hits the Japs. Radiation cancers, A bomb survivors. Study after study after study. Radiation as a weapon of mass destruction. Not just the bomb, but radiation as a weapon of mass, of mass destruction. Yeah? Radiation as a weapon of mass destructions. Breast cancer in the Japanese A bomb survivors, 1982. Whenever I get these double studies, I should uh, put out the dates so people don't get confused. Suicide selection in A bomb survivors. Suicide from A bomb survivors. Well, you had to build a city so you can study the guinea pigs, right? Mortality among the offsprings of atomic bomb survivors, 1946-1985. What, what terrorist group did that, Daddy? The Hiroshima 60th anniversary. The effects of atomic bomb irradiation on the Japanese. Statistical observations of Eyeball changes in survivors of the Hiroshima 1965 study. Clinical and statistical observations of delayed effects. Delayed. Effects of A bomb radiation on the human body. Radiation risks in nuclear medicine. So. How can you call it nuclear medicine when there's a radiation risk? There's no such thing as nuclear medicine. Like, the nuclear medicine is designed to kill everybody and all the children. Greetings, 50 years of atomic bomb casualty commissioned. Radiation effect research foundation studies. Greetings, 50 years of it. This is a study to your left. 50 years of atomic bomb casualty Commission Radiation Effects Research Studies Foundation. Think about that statement. 
Search for mutations affecting protein structures in the children of atomic bomb survivors. Preliminary report. Why would you build that city in the bottom for him? The Atomic Bomb Casualty Commission in retrospective. Mortality among military participants at Plum Bob nuclear weapons test series and leukemia among the participants at the Smoky test. So just being involved for a single test, right, is leukemias and mortality. But the Hiroshima and Nagasaki are just fine, didn't it? Atomic bomb survivors of Japanese cancer, respiratory cancer, and other respiratory lung and throat cancers, respiratory. Long-term radiation-related health effects in unique human population. Yeah, they're called guinea pigs. They're Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Lessons learned from the atomic bomb survivors of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Influence of or heart rate variability in older adults at the Hiroshima Atomic Bomb Survivors Recuperation Research Center in Japan. You can't recoup in a nuclear wasteland. They like to give them big acronyms so people think they're important, particularly the ones that are working there. The incidences of leukemia, blah, 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 among atomic survivors, 1950-2001. Research on radiation-induced cancers in atomic bomb survivors. Characteristic expressions in gastric cancer among atomic bomb survivors, stomach cancers. Associations between uh, artery diseases, artery diseases, radiation exposure in the atomic bomb survivors. Well, the atomic bomb survivors are anybody that's living in Hiroshima and Nagasaki after they rebuilt the city and moved in there, even though they weren't there originally for the bombing, they're survivors too, see? All of them should be launching lawsuits against the nuclear industry for uh, using them as lab rats and for being monsters. I give the police permission to go shoot these fuckers. Association, lifespan of study, atomic bomb survivors cohorts, and survivors' offsprings. I said he studied everybody and everybody's loved ones and their children and their loved ones. You got any idea? We should put all of these people in a lab and study them is what we should be doing to see how, if there's any humanity left in them. Significance of instability in breast cancer. What's the date on that? I don't know. At the top, there's a... Like, there's literally a thousand studies on breast cancer, but they don't find any. But if you go look at the old studies, you'll find they found lots of breast cancer. You know, because, like, if you deny that picture and the significance and the radiation that's going to be there, it's because you're, you're not even trying. Cancer mortality in residents, terrain shielded. So areas were shielded. Exposed to the follower. You can't shield an area from follower because the follower goes up eight miles and falls out to 200. And, like, and saying that, for what they're trying to claim with that statement is that people were shielded from the follower. But the follower was 245 or 260 square miles, right? But they also found it in 10 samples of ice cores in Canada from Hiroshima. Clinical features, prognosis of patients exposed to the atomic bomb with cancer exposed to the atomic bomb. Cancer mortalities of Hiroshima atomic bomb survivors based on risk maps, analysts of spatial survival data. So stupid to build that city there. Investigation of circulatory uh, cancer mortality, Hiroshima atomic bomb survivors. I've done that one day now. 
Association between radiation, diabetes, and retinal vessel diameter and atomic bomb survivors. They studied every fingernail, every toenail. They studied every hair on everybody's head for 74 years, basically, is what you're discovering today. The first time in history. We're getting a clear look at how crazy, insane, and insidious, monstrous, and vicious, spineless, and soulless, and heartless, these academics are. The word academic is now, you should spit every time you say it. Clinical features, prognosis of patients exposed in Nagasaki. Cancer incidences in children and young adults did not increase relative to parental exposure to the atomic bomb. So you can see these, like meant to downplay it, endless studies, just endless studies. All of these studies are basically meant to downplay it. No, there was no internal radiation exposure, Dana. Stop saying there was, Dana. You got no studies, Dana. You don't need studies. You just got to look at what I produced here today. That proves unequivocally my narrative is factual. What's the sense of having a conversation? I'm not going to bring you the facts. How can you have a conversation if you don't have the facts? That's why I do what I do. There's things much more important than me. What I do every day is way more important than Dana. I have to do this because it, people need to have a real narrative. After 74 years, we finally, for the first time in 75 years, have got a real narrative to work with. Characteristics of benign and malignant bone tumors Register in the Hiroshima Tumor Tissue Registry, 1973, that started. There's many of them, by the way. Prospective follow-up study of association radiation exposure with fatal, non-fatal strokes among atomic bomb survivors. Long-term radiation-related health effects in unique human population, you know, the the imprisoned population called Nagasaki, Hiroshima. Lessons learned from the atomic bomb survivors of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Radiation exposure and circulatory disease risk, Hiroshima, Nagasaki, atomic bomb survivor data, 1950-2003. Biomarkers of radiosensitivity, a bomb survivors pregnant at the time of the bombing. Then those babies were studied relentlessly, endlessly, and will, their children will be studied if they have any, their children will be studied if they have any. The industry is completely revolting, completely out of control, completely demonic, completely soulless and spineless, completely evil. There's no maybes about this. Neutron relative biological effectiveness, Hiroshima and Nagasaki atomic bomb survivors. Population density in Hiroshima and Nagasaki before the bombing in 1945. Population density. Its measurement, impact, and radiation risk estimates in the lifespan study of the survivors. The incidence of leukemia, lymphoma, and multiple cancers among atomic bomb survivors, 1950. Radiation smoking effect on lung cancer incidences amongst the atomic bomb survivors. Smoking, see, now, now they're equating smoking with the cancer that they ended up with to downplay, to, to whittle away the numbers, right? And then radon and everything, to whittle away the numbers. Missing doses in lifespan study of Japanese atomic bomb survivors. Missing doses. Effect to follow-up period, minimal uh, significant dose in atomic bomb survival studies. Prejudice and health anxiety about radiation exposure, second generation atomic bomb survivors. Cancer risk at low doses of ionizing radiation. Artificial neutron or neutral network influence, inference from atomic bomb survivor. Getting a little tired now. We haven't got much. Let me check here. 5, 10, 15. Well, we only got 15 more to go, so I might as well finish it out. Once I start slurring my words, 
It's best for me to usually give it up because I'll start breaking shit. I get angry at this, that they've done this. And uh, I shouldn't do that, right? Just tell the story, and once the show's over, go and buy some dishes and start breaking them, right? Mortality in children of atomic bomb survivors and cohorts. Aging atomic bomb survivors, stem cells again. Dose response for mortality, heart diseases in atomic bomb survivors, 1950 on. Atomic bomb health benefits. This is where they try to claim homesis. Mayo breast cancer incidence is mortality risk in the Japanese atomic bomb survivors. Differences in excess relative and absolute risk from female breast cancers. Comparison prognosis and prostate cancer between atomic bomb survivors and control patients. Mortality and uh, heart diseases. Persistence in neutralizing antibiotics. Uh, against the dengue virus two years after 70 years from infections in Nagasaki. Discrepancies between results and general perception, not Hiroshima and Nagasaki survivor study. So when you read one of these studies, you come away thinking that you have a good handle on it, right? Because most people, that's as far as they're going to go. They go read one of the studies, which are usually bigoted and biased and prejudiced and racist anyway, but you'll read one of the studies and you think, and now they're an expert. I've read thousands and thousands. I've read tens of thousands over the last just six, seven years alone. I'm sorry, like probably a hundred thousand. Like I can go technical, but what's the sense? Because most people can't follow it and they get bored of it and they get disenfranchised, right? You got to kind of bring them the consensus, and and just it's been a really bad week for me because I've covered so much horrible material and pictures and, and stories. I'm definitely damaged. I'll just sleep all weekend, hopefully. Rediscovery of an old article reporting the area around the epicenter. And Hiroshima was heavily contaminated with residual radiation, indicating that exposure doses of A-bomb survivors was largely un underestimated. 2017, they got another four to go. Another four to go, and that's the end of the show. Prejudice and health anxiety. Mortality among the survivors, they studied every facet of everything. They turn them into lab rats and guinea pigs so that they can have houses on hills and go to the opera. It's the legacy of academics, nuclear academics. Gastric cancer among the atomic survivors. Radiation experiments on people in the United States. Committee found information of more than 4,000 radiation experiments on people. Plutonium and other radionuclides injections are described as the plutonium files. I've covered them, you can look it up on my site. Vegetables and fruit intake and cancer mortality, Hiroshima and Nagasaki lifespan. And there's so many studies where you gotta look up every, every other word to figure out what the hell it is they're doing. There's just thousands of them. Atomic bomb hits the Japs, and they disappear. Well, thank you for spending your time with me. Thank you for hearing me out. Thank you for having the fortitude to seek the truth out and the courage. Please go off and enjoy your weekend, if that's possible. 
Hopefully by the Monday or Tuesday next week, I'll forget this chapter till next year this time. This has been a horrible week. With all the studies and pictures I've covered, it's definitely changed me. God bless.